in Russian history. Today's edition of Historama is next up here on Primetime. This day in 1926 saw the birth of Stalin's only daughter, Svetlana Lilueva. She was a very passionate teenager. It's rumored that this cost at least one of her lovers, a Jewish filmmaker, his life. In the 60s, she fell in love with a seriously ill Indian communist who was visiting Moscow. When he died, she was allowed to visit India for his funeral. There, she visited the U.S. Embassy and petitioned to be granted exile. This happened, and on her arrival in New York in 1967, she denounced her father's regime and the Soviet government. She lived in various countries after this until finally settling in the U.S., and uh, she's uh, now known as Alana Peters. The first cadet corps was founded in St. Petersburg on this day in 1732. It was a prestigious military school for young boys and admitted only the children of nobles. As well as military training, students were given a moral education. The institution was very proud of its graduates, but some of the best known didn't choose a military career. For example, Russia's great pianist, Sergei Rachmaninoff. Moral education is something that ru modern Russian schools lack. I think. Br br bring on the elitney. Oh, <laughs> elitney moral elite schools. Moral I wonder what morals they, they, they taught them there. They taught them that you have mm. to be a gentleman and then you, you have to, you know, all the, 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 the proper things. Always stand at the back and send all your soldiers in front of you when going into battle, That's things not like true. that. Mm. No, I, I believe it, it's probably. Because, of course, if it had to lead by example, that would be the moral thing, wouldn't it? I wonder, but not many officers lead by example. Oh, of course the they did. They used mm. to be very romantic back in the day. Mm. Oh.